Hello, thank you for visiting this video. I'm going to go over SmoothDraw 4.0.5 real quick. Uh, this is just a video that will help you go get started with it, go over the basics. So if you see on the left, we got layers over here. These layers um, is where you can have different pages and uh, we, we will change the very first layer to black color because I like that you can choose whichever color you want when you do it so we will use the fill tool and you can go over here and that's what we, we're gonna use so I'm gonna select the color first color is on the left side I'm gonna choose the black color and then I'm gonna go click fill and just click one time so my first layer is black. The next step, I'm going to add a new layer. And I can add as many layers as I want. So for me to write on this layer, I need to choose the correct color. I have black chosen. And if I use black, I won't see anything, so I'll choose white and then these are all the different um, pencils pen that I have available I'm gonna just go with number one and since I have white selected already I'm just gonna be able to write anything I want so that was our first layer let's see what happens when we add another layer so if I add another layer I will see both the layers layer 1 and layer 2 so when I write now I'm writing on layer 2 I'm just using a mouse to write there are other tools available on Amazon something that looks like a pen and you can use that so before I end this video, if you look at these eyes, if I click on it, the layer 2 goes away. But it's this little square, a rectangle that you see, that shows that layer 2 is active. So anytime you write now, it's going to be written on layer 2. So you need to make layer 1 active if you want to write on that. And if I select, click on this eye, layer 1 will go away. So this is layer 2. And if I want both to be seen, I can say that. So that's it. It's pretty easy. And this software is freely available. It's like freeware software. You can download it. You can Google it. And make sure you get to the right, um, right website. What I normally do is I just Google the Wikipedia part of it. And, normal, and then I go to the Wikipedia. Sure. Mm -hmm. Website and on the Wikipedia page about the software, they usually have a link to it. Okay, thank you for watching.